Hello Lou, thanks for coming in. I'm really excited about this new oil painting course you've come up with. Could you tell us at least to start off with what kind of thing we're going to be learning on the course? The course is uh, an oil painting course which involves the use of uh, proprietary pastes and uh, gels um, and other uh, relief techniques in order to achieve some relief and texture on the support on the canvas or canvas panels that we're using which results in a much more interesting final work um, because it helps create shadow and, and give, helps to enhance the feeling of relief on the uh, on the canvas painting, finished art. So you've called this textured mountain oil painting, is that right? That's, so that, that's because this is this uh, particular texture technique that you use? It is, yeah. The texture um, itself is, is sort of reflective and because it stands proud of the canvas slightly, it will create shadow um, and, and added relief, added ruggedness, if you like, to the finished uh, picture. That sounds quite, quite unusual for an oil painting course. So, what will students learn on your course? So students on the course will learn um, a lot of uh, information about how to prepare their work. So it will be from actually transferring the image onto the canvas panel, which we'll be using. Um, and then we'll be applying texture pastes um, in order to create the, the rugged texture, which we then seal in with some gesso, which is an acrylic primer. Um, and then we will apply oil paint, uh, which is traditional oil paint, and use a solvent, uh, a terps or white spirit, to encourage the paint to move, which creates um, a dribbly effect like the, the finished one here. Um, and we can tilt the canvas to achieve different, uh, different movements. And then finally, um, we, once that's dry, we can paint over the top to enhance our painting in a more traditional way. Um, we'll paint the sky, fill in any vegetation, etc., to produce a finished piece. And who, who is the course for? I mean, is, it, is it for people who haven't used oil paints before? Um, it's, it's for people who haven't used oils, but it's for people who are experienced painters, but perhaps haven't explored um, texture or, or mixed media techniques. So anyone who's only used traditional painting techniques before, who wants to have a, a dabble at um, applying some uh, texture to their pieces could, could come along, but equally some, somebody who's never tried oils before um, could come along. doesn't need an experienced painter in order to, uh, to take part. That sounds great. Now, uh, we've had the pleasure of seeing you painting during all sorts of art events that you've done here. Your, your style, you've, you've got a couple of distinct subject matters that you quite often paint, mountains as in textured mountains for this course, but could, can your techniques be applied to other kinds of subject matter? Uh, absolutely. Um, having said that, I've never tried it on portraits or, or animals, but um, <laughs> as, a, as a seascape painter and, and, and mountains, you can apply it to water textures or uh, vegetation. really depends what you add in order to achieve your, your relief, if you like. Um, but there's no reason why you couldn't use it to, to paint fields of corn or ripples on water. Um, it depends how imaginative you want to be. And the plan is to have a fairly small class. Why, why have we chosen to have a, a fairly small class for this course? It's a fairly intense course um, and it will require people to, um, to concentrate and to have their, um, their materials uh, around them. You'll be using a scalpel for instance to cut um, masking tape around uh, the horizon lines. You'll be using um, solvents, um, terps or white spirit. So it's better to have um, a smaller group in terms of, of using those sort of uh, materials and techniques. And also because it means I can spend more time with each student. So if there's five um, over a couple of hours, then you get far more quality time with each student. Mm. Yeah, that sounds really good. Thank you for coming up with such a comprehensive kind of uh, structure to the course. I think probably the other things I want to know are, are the practicalities like how we book. Well, that's, uh, that can be done via the Vitrice Art website or here in the studio. Um, I, I, I would like to ask you how long you've been painting and how you got into painting. 
just before we close. Okay, I, I mean, I've painted all my life since five, five years of age uh, with my father. Um, I've explored uh, watercolours initially as I was um, becoming more confident in painting, but I took up oils in uh, around 10 years ago now. Um, and I must say that I'm my favourite medium. Although from time to time I do like to depart in, into pastels. Um, but I just love how versatile they are. Um, and I get such a thrill out of seeing you know, a piece of work come, come to life. And, and even more so, to see other people get the same sort of enjoyment out of using mm. them. So, um, yeah, I've been doing it for about 10 years now. Now, you've brought along um, an example, the, the one that's flat down. We haven't actually referred to that yet. We had it, we had it positioned to hand on the expectation right. that you'd be <laughs> looking at it. But tell us a little bit about this painting. Okay, this, uh, this piece of work um, is um, Col de Lac d'Arbon. So it's actually a mountain range um, a col in the French Alps in Haute Savoie. Um, all of my photo references are my own photographs. So this was a piece I took. Um, it's actually a cropped piece because there's a huge lake at the bottom, um, but it lends itself perfectly to, to this technique. So I was able to create the, the rock for the scree, scree slopes and things, um, and to, to amplify the colours in the rocks themselves, with these lovely purples and uh, an ochre colours. So um, yeah, this is this is the one that I probably will use for the, uh, the course, the first course. Um, uh, but we'll see if I find something more exciting. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds fantastic. Thanks ever so much for coming along. So, if you like the look of what Lou's told you, if we've answered all of the obvious questions you've got, go to the Vitreous Art website or call in at the studio and book, and you will be painting oils, that perhaps not quite as proficiently as Lou, oh, but you'll be, you'll be creating <laughs> some pretty impressive paintings before long. I am fairly certain of that. Thanks ever so much, Lou. Thank you.